Howdy, how's it going? Welcome back, and howdy if you're new. Well guys, I know it's been a while, I apologize. There has been a lot of life-changing events, a lot of things that are out of my control. I'm gonna update you on my projects I'm working on, and we're gonna go over a few things that I might actually need you guys' help for. So if you wanna get involved, as always, check the Discord, it's in the description, and uh, drop a comment, let me know of anything you um, have a question about. So let's get started. The Ally. Everybody is always asking me about this thing. What have I got done and what am I doing? So the fan mod has been doing exceptionally well. It keeps my temperatures really low. Um, you know, I can get down to like 59 degrees Celsius when playing like Modern Warfare, Forza, even at 30 watts. It's just absolutely a beast. It blows cool air over everything and I haven't had any issues out of it. To be honest, the only issue I have is I probably could use a tighter grill right here. This is one I 3D printed. Not really a you know fan of it, but it works. It's definitely working for me now, and it is what it is. So we're gonna take this apart, and I'm gonna show you the inside of it so you can see what's going on. One of the other mods that I wanna talk to you guys about before we kind of dive into that is this right here. If you wanna get involved in the community and try something out, this is a NVMe to SATA adapter. I have it working, but I am unable to boot to Windows through it. I can install Windows using my dock and use my USB drive like, like so, and this'll work. But the problem is when you reboot it, can't get it to boot into Windows. Touching on accessories real quick before I open this thing up. I have been working with handheld DIY. They did send me this back plate. We did a video on it. I'm waiting on the clear back plates from them as well as the clear back plates from JSOX. So if you stay tuned, we'll do a little deeper dive into backplate options and kind of give you guys an idea of what's available out there on the market and what you should choose. But I have been messing with the joysticks. Everybody's been requesting another follow-up video. We're still doing some testing with handheld DIY and they've sent me several sets. As you can see, there's three. Uh, this was my original one right here. I've even got two somewhere. I've got several sets that I've been testing. Incrementally, everything is improving. So we should see something really cool coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. They've been pretty good to work with. So the ally final, you know, form or is it? I don't I don't think it is a final form. So this has been doing exceptionally well. I've been doing some Modern Warfare 3 testing and I did a short on the settings that I would suggest that you use, but those were my preliminary settings, so we'll see what happens. We may be doing another tuning guide. So if you want to check out how to tune it on a clean install of Windows, how to do a clean install of Windows, let me know. I, I've had a few people suggest that I do an updated tuning guide, so we might actually dive back into that. Now, this mod that you're gonna see next has been something that a lot of people have been doing, a lot of people have been asking me about. And now it does get my stamp of approval, but with a caveat. So let's open this thing up, we'll do a quick time lapse, and we'll, we'll dive in, so let's go for it. All right, so let's dive in. Now, Forgive me for a little bit of mess inside of here. I haven't finished tidying everything up, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Everything works, it's all fully functional, but I do have some housekeeping to do. Pull all these screws out so they don't just fly everywhere. All right, so the mod that you can see here is the 2280 mod. It does get my stamp of approval, but with a little caveat. So the next mod that you'll kind of see, or maybe not see, is the heat sinks over top here and here. What I did is I took one of the Chunky Boy or Chunky Boy mods, I cut it up with a saw, and I used the 3M adhesive tape that comes with them. I repurposed some that I had left aside, and I stuck it on here, and then I stuck it on here. Works great. 
I think it's extracting a little heat and it does complement my fan mod because this fan is blowing air over the motherboard and the heatsink and the NVMe, VRAM, everything. So it's complementary to the mod. Now, let's hop into this. This 2280 mod did come from either AliExpress or Amazon. They are both one and the same. There are a few different revisions. I've tested two of them. They seem to be okay. I had two to show you, but I have lost the second one. So we'll just show you the one that I'm using. It's the black one. I think it's the tidiest one, and I think it really kind of blends in. I have the red one on order. It never arrived. I ordered it on Amazon over a month ago. I have no clue where it went. I've seen people with the green one. They even make two different versions, like a Gen 3 and a Gen 4. Make sure you're getting the Gen 4, but all things aside, they all should do the same thing. There's one that has like a leg across here. The only reason I didn't opt for the one with the leg across there is simply because I did not know if I would have enough clearance for my VRAM heat sinks or RAM heat sinks, whatever. Um, the next thing I've seen that I want to do, but it's not ready yet, is I've seen people doing the 32 gig RAM mods with varying rates of success. Most of the people that I have seen do the RAM mods haven't given me any benchmarks at all. So it's kind of strange that we're not getting any numbers out of people who have done the mod. Clearly, I want to see the 1% lows. I want to see the things that would matter the most to me in terms of performance. I don't think you're going to get more FPS as far as your averages go. You might, but you're, you're mainly going to see your 1% lows improve on something like Modern Warfare. And then you also may be able to have some better experiences with something that requires more VRAM, simply for the fact that if you have four gigs set aside in Modern Warfare, it's fine, it does okay. But if you set aside eight, for example, you're actually gonna have worse 1% lows because you're using your RAM, which it desperately needs. Same with Forza and so on. And you may even get some errors or some issues there. So that's something that's important to me. So if you do want to do the mod or you have done the mod, do the testing and show us what's going on. The second part of it is that I've seen people uh, who do the mod, like um, I won't mention names, but they got sent a bunch of bad memory chips and he spent like a thousand dollars on the memory chips for a batch of them. And they all seem to be bad. And when he was soldering them on the board because he kept having to try so many, I believe it, it messed his motherboard up. So it doesn't seem to be a safe option at this point until I see further proof that it's a repeatable result and you don't have a risk per se. So this is the back of a, or actually it's part of a Pokemon card sleeve. And the only reason I did this is to potentially block some heat and also make it where it doesn't potentially short out on anything metal. It does work. The next thing is an EK water block heat sink for the NVMe drive. This works exceptionally well. I'm able to cool my drive perfectly fine and get desktop temperatures that you would see on a desktop. The NVMe mod prior that I had with the Chonky Boy mod actually runs hotter than what this runs. So this definitely does get my stamp of approval. We'll do a deeper dive into it eventually. It's just not worthy of an entire video until I have all the data that we need to present to give you a full length video. So we're gonna pop this back in here. The next mod that we have touched on previously, but not really a full length video because I like to test everything and have a full guide for you, is my fan mod. Now, previously I had it powered through the USB connector up here with a little dongle externally absolutely a pain in the butt i don't recommend it so i did a ground wire here and then i tapped into the pwm wire you pull the sticker back on the back side of this fan and you can solder on to one of the connectors onto the fan that's the only place that i was able to find safe enough to solder onto it and like I said, stay tuned if you want to see a deeper dive on this. It's about a 9 out of 10 as far as, well, I would say not. I'd say it's about an 8 out of 10 as far as skill level goes. You do need some soldering experience, minimal at best. Um, 
but it's definitely something that you'll have to kind of play around with. The other thing I made was this little connector here so I can disconnect my fan and move that around. What I had to do to clearance the fan is a whole nother story. I did not do it that cleanly, but you can see what is involved. You do have to trim some plastic and cut some things so you can have the screw holes in here and so on. Now the mesh, if you want a cooling mod for free, it's free real estate. This is an option that I would highly recommend everyone doing and trying. There's two of them. Remove this black flap here, and then there's actually a weird black plastic that's covering half of this ROG vent here and a little bit over here. I removed them. I've seen a lot of good success with that. A lot of people have dropped the temps a few degrees. That is a free mod. That is free real estate, and definitely you should do it. The next mod would be to remove the flap. The flap flap is absolutely useless. It traps heat in. It is a dust shield. It does not harm your ally. I have I have used it without it since day one. I've taken this thing apart thousands of times. Definitely take note of that. If you want a free mod, take out the flap, take out the flap, take out the mesh, and enjoy a few degrees cooler. Will it give you better performance? It could, actually, uh, if you're thermally throttling. And a lot of games do thermally throttle, unfortunately, in the Ally. But um, I have been teasing about a contest slash giveaway or whatever you want to call it these days. Basically, we're going to have something set up for you guys to compete for a chance to um, get your hands on a clear backplate for your ROG Ally. Thank you to Handheld DIY. Definitely show them some love. Check out their website. They have been an amazing channel sponsor. We've been doing some cool things with the joysticks and different accessories that they do. And they've been kind enough to tell us that we can give two to three of these away. So you'll be able to potentially get your hands on one of these and it'll be shipped directly to you directly from them and that was kind enough for them to do that for me i really appreciate it i've been um really really looking forward to these clear back plates they look absolutely beautiful they take a lot of community input and feedback so i think these guys are the best handheld accessory company out there in the mod category because they actually listen and they want to get involved they even have a discord themselves so if there's any questions you have about the products or you do want to see if they can make something or revise something, definitely reach out to them because they have a Discord set up specifically for that, which I thought was really awesome. So stay tuned for that. If there's um, anything else I can do for you guys, let me know. Stay tuned. We'll have about two to three videos coming out this week. We're going to do some Black Friday deal summaries, including handheld content, desktop content, different accessories and things that you could use uh, when working on devices, tools, and all that good stuff. If there's anything in particular that you want me to keep an eye out for you, um, let me know. I've been compiling my own list and trying to like keep an eye out for those hidden gems that will be popping up there'll even be some cyber monday deals which i'm kind of excited about and uh yeah that's it i appreciate it things have been a little difficult lately and i appreciate all you guys sticking around and showing love and um being very supportive it, it means it means the world to me and all my you know channel sponsors and everything for working with me it's been great it's been a good run uh i'm, I'm enjoying the channel growing every day we're gonna keep it growing you know, if you have a product that you want me to review or you know something that I should review, definitely drop it below. There's a few items I am on the lookout for. I am on the lookout for a portable monitor that can do high refresh and so on. Am I going to pick up the Lenovo Legion Go? Am I going to pick up any other handhelds? And at this time, I don't have the funds to pick up any handhelds. But quite honestly, there's really no handhelds out there that are meeting the criteria that would make me want to go purchase one. I would need it to have 32 gigs of RAM, and I would need it to have a little bit more power than the ROG Ally. So, unfortunately, I'm not seeing much out there at the moment. So, you know, there's hope. We got some Intel handhelds coming next year, hopefully, and that's kind of what I'm holding out for. So, 
we'll, we'll see. There's a few that are coming and I might could get my hands on a review sample or something like that. So, you know, if handhelds are your bag, definitely stay tuned. We're not abandoning the handheld game at all. Uh, in fact, we're just getting started. We're going to do some even crazier mods here soon. I've got some good ideas for some things that I'm going to venture into with the mods. But if you are one of the OG desktop fans, stay tuned for that. We're going to mix it up. We're going to show you guys what you want to see. You know, that's something that I like doing is giving you guys what you want to see and not necessarily what I want to see. You know, it, this is this is for me, but it also is for you guys because you helped build the channel. So I want to show my love and appreciation. So I hope all of you guys have a good holiday, whatever holidays you're celebrating this year. You know, I, I really hope the best for you. I know it's holidays are kind of a tough time for people it's kind of a depressing time so i hope you don't feel alone you have my community and you're always welcome in it and we love you and we support you in all your endeavors so like i said happy holidays folks and you know stay tuned thank you so much and uh, hope all y'all have a good afternoon good evening or good night